today on Be Something Wonderful, how to invoke your natural creative power to manifest anything you want. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Lots of sessions yesterday from early morning to evening time. I was in sessions and a few of them were about this idea that, Tom, it's feeling like struggle. It's feeling like effort. I, I'm, I'm imagining, I'm assuming, I'm scripting, it's exhausting. This whole question came up again. And I talked about it in, in many different ways, but in particular, I hit this idea that remember, manifesting and creating your own reality is natural. Neville Goddard points to this as, as creating the naturalness of your state, right? They, feeling it real means feeling it natural. So manifesting what you want and becoming who you desire to be is natural. It's not a process, it's a decision. It's effortless. It's a decision from that allness of who you are, that I amness. It's an assumption that I'm already that person I wanna be. When, when you assume that you can't naturally be who you desire to be and naturally have what you wanna have, you create the experience of separation from your desired outcome. You create a gap between your desire, I've talked about this in a few videos now, and the experience of its fulfillment. You create that gap, you assume it's a process of effort, an unnatural process of effort, and there are conditions to be met to close the gap. Do you see it? You fill that gap with conditions that you have to think or feel a certain way or do some certain processes to be who you want to be and have what you want to have. You create that idea of separation. You create that experience when you believe that it's not natural, right? So let's hit this a little bit more. You assume that you're not naturally connected with what you want to be and have, or in other words, what you love. Do you see it? It all gets back to that. Remember, what is I am awareness? What is that self-aware intelligence that we call God? It's love, it's unconditional love. It could be nothing else. Existence itself is unconditional love. It exists and, it, 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 and, it, and it's life and more life. It has a divine urge to, to create life and more life. How could that be anything else other than love? And so when you connect with what you love, when you focus on what you love, it's really related to yesterday's video versus what you lack. Now you're naturally creating and manifesting what you desire. It's natural. It's no longer a process of effort and struggle, right? So you assume what you are not naturally connected with, what you want, you, what you assume that you are not naturally connected with what you want to be and have, or in other words, what you love. You assume you're not naturally connected to it and you create an unnatural gap that you fill, hear this, with processes to do and conditions to be met. Wow. You don't trust the power and authority of your own I am awareness or your imagination to work through you and as you. Do you see it? that natural ability is already within you? But when you believe that there's conditions to be met, processes to do, thoughts and feelings to control and flip and try to feel better about things, you're no longer focused on that, what you love or the outcome, your desired outcome or your imagined end, the love of what you want. You're focused on the lack or trying to make it happen, right? Imagining your wish fulfilled is natural. Assuming and affirming that you are already that, that which you want to be is natural. I am that I am. That's what, that's good. That's God's name. I am who I am. I am who I assume I am. I imagine I am. I am who I say I am. That's natural. It's your name or nature. God gave us the name, the name of God. I am that I am. That's your name. I am. It's your nature to be who you desire to be. To, to, to have what you desire to have. It's your very nature. Wow. So 
instead of naturally connecting with your preferred identity and desired reality, you're focused on what you assume you have to do and, and who you have to be to have it and be it. I know it's, you feel like you're connect, you're, you're, when you're imagining or assuming and, and even when it feels like effort, you believe that you're focused on it. But really, what are you focused on? What's your awareness on? It's on what you have to do or who you have to be to get what you want, to be who you want to be. Do you see it? You're focused on that. You're assuming what you have to do or who you have to be to have it and already be it. And it's coming from a sense of lack, trying to make something happen, struggle, right? Make, you're making it a process of doing techniques while coping with and trying to resolve changing thoughts, feelings, and conditions. That's what we're no, normally doing. We're, 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 we believe there's a process of techniques to go through and then we've got to cope with or deal with the 3D conditions, the changing thoughts and feelings and the changing outer conditions. You put your fulfillment in the future that doesn't exist and is always just out of reach. Do you see? It's always just out of reach. Hasn't happened yet. Just out of reach. That fulfillment's just in the future. After I sort through this, after I get the processes right, what the magician's way, the book in the magician's way, talked about being in the swing circle, trying to get your, your swing just right, not focusing on the flag and the, and the uh, outcome, but focused on trying to get all the all the conditions right, all the processes right, trying to resolve the thoughts and feelings so you feel better and think better thoughts, and then you believe that you can deserve or have what you want, right? You put your fulfillment in the future that doesn't exist, always just out of reach. Make your future and fulfillment here and now by imagining, assuming, and affirming it's done with no other conditions. That's what Neville Goddard meant by make the else we're here in the future now. It's here and now. There are no other conditions on that fulfillment. I am is real. I am is natural. I am is reality. I am is absolute fulfillment. It is pure positive awareness of being and having everything here and now. That's the definition of I am. How could it be anything else, right? Wants and desires are a natural expression of the fulfillment that you already are. Wants and desires are a good thing. They're a natural expression of that allness. You want and desire to experience more of all that you are. That's the divine urge of source, the divine urge of love, the divine urge of God to know itself as God, right? That's source energy, knowing itself, contemplating itself. When you assume you are that which you desire to be, it feels good. But when you assume you are not, it feels bad. That's the, whole, that's the whole sensation of negative emotion, right? It's just an assumption that you're not that person you, you want to be. You don't have what you want to have. And it's the assumption that you're not going to be that person you want to be, or you're not going to have what you want to have. That's the whole, that's what fear is. It's just, the, it, it's that, it's that a, a resistance to an unwanted outcome, what you believe is an unwanted outcome. Same energy, same source, same awareness, it's the same reality put to an assumption or a filter of I am not yet who I desire to be and maybe I never will. It's that assumption that creates that feeling. It's the same source. There's no such thing as negative energy. There's just source energy put through some filter that I am not, right? In other words, Instead of focusing on the love of what you want, you're focused on the lack of it, what I was pointing to yesterday. So here you are. I've, I've used this before. I call this the, the I am vertical, right? You're having this horizontal experience. But when you start, when, we, when we're focused on our desired end, we think about, well, a lot of time went by and, and I, I haven't been it and I wasn't it before and all this stuff happened to me or I will be it in the future, I've got to do things to be there. I was and I will be don't exist. They're created from this now identity, from this now moment. Who you're desiring to be creates who you were and who you will be. In that vertical, there's, there's, there's only ever one story, one reality, one identity, one awareness. There is no such thing as I was or I will be. There's only I am right now, 
Do you see it in that we have that solid physical experience that it appears solid, but within it, beneath it, it's changing according to your assumptions, according to who you decide you are, but it's not just changing this current moment, it's changing who you were or who you believe you were and who you believe you will be. It's all created right now from that powerful I am vertical. One story, one reality, one identity, one awareness, I am. But there are infinite ways to tell that story. There are infinite ways to experience that reality. There are infinite ways to be that identity. That's why Jesus said, I am the way. So it's only ever one story, one vertical, one reality, one identity, one awareness. But there are infinite ways that you can express that one reality, that one identity. And what you decide in this moment determines who you were and who you will be in terms of your entire life experience, right? That identity now, because it's all, remember the past is created from the present moment. The future is created in the present. Everything happens in the now moment. You create your entire story. I am the way. That's powerful. So your changing thoughts, feelings, and conditions don't determine outcomes. They don't know what's possible. Do you see it? We believe and identify with those changing thoughts and feelings. They're not reality. They don't know what's possible, <laughs> right? They don't know that you assume because you think them, feel them, and see them that they are reality or, that, or they are what's real and possible. That's why Jesus said with men, this is impossible. With God, all things are possible. It, with your thought, with your changing thoughts, feelings, and conditions, it's always going to feel impossible. There's no other way. But they're not reality. They don't determine outcomes. But we spend a lot of time trying to resolve them, trying to feel better, trying to think better thoughts, trying to, trying to manipulate conditions, trying to feel better about the conditions. You assume because you think, feel, and see them that they're reality, but, they, but that, that's not what's real or possible. What's real or possible is what you say is real and possible from that powerful, natural, creative power of I am, that state of I am. You try to deal with and cope with and resolve them, these conditions and these thoughts and feelings, which, which takes your awareness and focus off of what you want or what you love. And it puts it on what you assume you need to do to resolve to get what you want. Do you hear it? So you're focused to cope with these conditions or deal with them or resolve the thoughts and feelings. It takes your awareness off of what you love, of what your desired end, right? And it, put, and it puts it on what you assume you need to do or you need to resolve or need to deal with to get what you love. There's a big difference, right? We, we still think we're focused on what we love, but you're not. You're focused on what you need to do, what you need to clean up, what you need to fix, what you need to resolve, what you need to heal to get what you love. Instead, focus on what you love, and then everything heals, everything's whole, everything, get the, everything gets righted, right? That's what righteousness is. Right? Thoughts and feelings are the siren. This is what a magician's way says. Thoughts and feelings and conditions are the, are the siren call that leads you away from all that you want. It leads you away from all that you love. You're no longer focused on what you love. You're focused on, on these changing thoughts, feelings, and conditions that point to lack, that point to I am not that person I want to be yet. Right? That point to limitation that point to incompleteness because that's what thoughts, feelings, and conditions are. They're never a complete picture of all that you are. They take place within the awareness of all that you are. That's powerful today. So I am, that love, that pure awareness, that self-aware intelligence is the only reality. It's the truth, it's all potential, it's all fulfillment, it's natural. That's your true nature. That's why Jesus said, ask in my name. I am. You're, in other words, ask in your, my true nature. That naturalness. That's the naturalness that Neville Goddard was pointing to. That's what, how you feel it real. right? It's not the changing thoughts, feelings, and conditions of, of the 3D conditions of the 3D world. It's not them. They're not reality. Feeling it real is feeling the conviction 
the naturalness of your I am awareness, the naturalness of who you really are. So when you connect with and focus on what you love, your desired reality and identity, you're allowing that natural power and intelligence to work through you and as you, right? You're no longer dealing with conditions. You're no longer coping with and trying to resolve thoughts and feelings. You're no longer struggling to manifest, struggling to manifest, and it's no longer unnatural and exhausting. You're working from that natural I am state of I am that who I desire to be. That's how you invoke your natural superpower to create anything, to manifest anything. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash be something wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our TikTok at be something wonderful and for being part of the membership channel. We have a new live stream coming out this month, uh, March 30th, 2024. We're at 9 a.m. in the morning, Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time. I'm going to have a, a live stream, a live event. I'm going to come to you live where I'm going to answer your questions and talk about some of the subjects that you've been sending to us at info at be something wonderful.com. So keep sending your questions and the topics that you would like me to touch on. I will, I will get to many of those and we'll also answer some of your questions live on the chat during the live event. It's our third live event of the year. If you're a member, join us. If you're not, check it out. There's a link below. Creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.